faithful as he that called you. And he'll also do it. 1 Thessalonians 5, 24. God, you're faithful. You're full of faith. You'll do what you say. You are the only one who never lets me down. You've always been my tower of strength. Turn the music up just a little bit. The promises you make are everlasting miles. And I'm overshadowed with your blessings. Lord, you've always been faithful to always been so true wrapped up in your love I've never come to harm oh no oh faithful one Jesus you are my faithful one hallelujah thank you Jesus praise you Lord I like this verse even when I'm weak your strength always holds me as long as I am in you I know I'm saved I depend upon the shelter of your love and arms, and I'm always reminded of your grace. Oh, how faithful, Jesus, you have been to me. See? 
Come on, praise him. He's the faithful one this morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Yes, Jesus, you are faithful, full of faith. 1 Thessalonians 5, 24 says, Faithful is he that called you, and he'll also do it. Somebody say, God's faithful when he calls, and he'll do it. And that's really the only thing God's called you to do, is to let him do it. Meaning you may come short on what he calls. Come on, somebody, but he never falls short on the call. Hello? You, you may make mistakes, and may I just go ahead and say it? We all blow it big time. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But the one who called you never blows it. Matter of fact, he can blow you back up when you deflate it. He can inflate your faith back, can't he, Pastor? Come on, somebody. He can, he can blow you back up. Praise God. He can get you back up from where you've been down at. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, God's faithful. And when he calls you, amen, he don't change his mind about what he calls you to do. Amen. You may get discouraged along the way. And if you ain't never got discouraged about what God's called you to do, keep breathing. Your faith will hit puberty after a while. Come on and you'll start growing up. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. But God never changes his mind. His gifts and callings are without repentance. Man may change their mind about you, but Holy Ghost don't. Come on, somebody. Philippians 1.6 says, be confident in this one thing. Somebody shout, you ain't got to have confidence in a bunch of things. You ain't got to have faith in a lot of things. Just have faith in this one thing. He. Somebody say in him. In he, in him, he that began a good work. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's a good work. Shall complete it, shall finish it, shall perform it even to the day of his son Jesus Christ. That meant when God called you, glory to God, at that very moment, he already declared the end from the beginning, Isaiah 46 and 10. That means he will never fail you one bit. Come on, somebody, not even a little bit, not even a slim chance will he fail you. Come on, he will never fail you nor forsake you, Jeremiah 1 and verses 5. Somebody shout, man will let you down, but Jesus won't. Man will fail you, but Jesus won't. You'll fail your own faith, but your faith won't fail you. Come on, somebody, because he is the author and finisher of your faith, Hebrews 12 and 2. Somebody shout, he is faithful to the call. And Jesus don't got no dumpster. Somebody shout, the truth himself don't have a trash can. God don't trash anything. God don't throw anything away. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. If that someone, amen, that's walked away, that's fell away, will come back to him again and call on his name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. He'll raise them back up. He'll brush them back off. Praise God. Anybody here, Holy Ghost? Hey man, father will run from the porch and grab hold of the prodigal that's wasted their life. I praise God and get the stench of the swine off of them and put a robe back on them and, and a ring. Why did God put a ring back on his prodigal son? Why did the father do that? Hey man, in Luke 15 and 20 when he ran and embraced him and kissed him because God said in Jeremiah 3 and 14, he's forever married to a backslider. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. The backslider may have walked away out of covenant with him, but if they ever come back, come on somebody. He'll put the ring back on the finger and say, I've kept my vow. I've kept my, I'm faithful. I didn't ever leave you. You may have left me. You may have messed up, but you ain't got to miss out. Somebody shout, even when you mess up, you ain't got to miss out. Hallelujah. He'll bring you out. If you'll come back, if you'll call on him, somebody shout, he ain't about through. I feel some unfinished business in here this morning. I hear daddy saying, they some unfinished business. Hallelujah. Somebody look at somebody and you ain't got to look very far to find somebody because ain't but a few of us somebodies. But look at them and say, God ain't near through with you. Man may have threw you in the trash can and said there's no use to even bother them anymore, but not Jesus. He knew, glory to God, he knows your frame. Praise God, he knows it's nothing but dust. Psalms 139 and 14, look at your neighbor, say, God knows you made out of dirt. Look at your neighbor say, dirt bag. Boy, that brings humility to you, don't it? Come on, somebody. Next time you think you all that, just remember you a dirt bag. Come on, somebody. But God specializes in using dirt, brown dirt, black dirt, red dirt, yellow dirt, and sand like me because I'm as white as they come. Brother, my future is bright too because I'm bright. Sometimes you got to, boy, you need to clean them things. <laughs> Yeah, that's got a lot of dirt on them. <laughs> Amen. Sometimes you got to wear them just to watch me. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But anyhow, God uses all colors and shades of dirt. It don't matter. But come on, anybody here, Holy Ghost? That's where he made the first man from and out of. Genesis 2 and 7 made man. Adam, out of the ground, out of dirt, but he breathed in him the breath of life. And I feel Holy Ghost saying today, I'm breathing back into an earthen vessel because I have this excellency. Come on, somebody, in earthen vessels. I have this in an earthen vessel that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. He's got a treasure. Somebody say a treasure in an earthen vessel, in a clay vessel, in a dirt vessel, that his excellency may be of him and not of us. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout, God still got treasures in the dirt. Matter of fact, when somebody's going hunting for treasure, usually that's where they're looking for it at. In the dirt. Under the ground. Come on, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. God's a digging this morning. Look at your neighbor and say, Can you dig it? He's a digging this morning. I'm telling you, he's digging deep in somebody, letting them know I, I'm just getting started with you. Amen. Hallelujah. God, I give you glory for what you're saying. Faithful. It's he that called you, and he'll also do it. First Thessalonians 5 24. Amen. Somebody say, God's faithful. What he starts, he'll finish. Hallelujah. And I'm just going to go ahead and obey, obey Holy Ghost. Brother, I point at you by the Spirit of God, you and your spouse, and the Holy Ghost says, I'm going to finish what I began many years ago. There may have been a pause, but God says it is not a finish. I'm about to do what I said I was going to do. I'm about to restore everything the enemy has tried to steal and take away. God said this is the season. The years that the canker worm and the locusts have eaten, God says I'm about to entrust you. I'm about to give it to you in the mighty name of Jesus. I give you glory. God for that, Joel 2, 25. The years that the locusts and the canker worm have eaten. Hallelujah. God said I'm going to restore them years to you in the mighty name of Jesus. For the Holy Spirit says I am not through. I'm faithful. I called you and I'm going to do it, says the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Somebody say amen.